chapters. Have a dropped novel you want to read more chapters of. Hearing this little scholar in front of her ask her this, the old woman subconsciously said, of course my grandson is called by this name. This name was chosen by the most educated person in my village. You, young man, are really asking strange questions. Zooting Rang's eyes flashed, and he looked at the old woman's expression, but no matter how he looked at her, the old woman's expression doesn't look like she lied. Could it be that there is really something wrong with this? Just as Zooting Rang fell into contemplation, changes had taken place in the crowd, as if they had already planned it out. The people at King Academy swarmed up. What do people in King Gwen want to do? Grandmother, don't tell him anymore. The people in King Gwen Academy are the most cunning, and that's how son he followed their way that day lost his life. You're really turning black to white. Don't think that you can bully us just because you have more people. Let's go quickly, lest we suffer a big loss. We will tell the owner before coming back. The dozen or so students from King rushed to their feet, pulled the old woman up, and swept away like a gust of wind. Seeing this group of people finally leave, everyone can't help but breathe a sigh of relief. Master, are you okay? Men Chiang asked. Lin Mayo wiped his face and shook his head. I'm fine. Mr. Mo sighed next to him. That's good. The three of them looked at each other, and they seemed battered and bruised. No longer looking like scholars. Are you all okay? Lin Mayo asked, looking at the students around him. Master, we are all fine. Since you are fine, it's all good. Let's go in first. Everyone filed in. When it was Zooting Rang's turn, Lin Mayo suddenly said, Zooting Rang, come with me. Mao Badu and the others looked at Zooting Rang anxiously, but couldn't say anything. They could only walk in with the rest of the group, and Zooting Rang followed Lin Mayo to the house. After entering the room, Lin Mayo went to the inner room to change. After coming out, he has recovered to the previous upright and rigorous curator, and the blood marks on his face have faded a lot. After he came to the bookcase, he sat down and glanced at Zooting Rang. Thank you for helping everyone out. It's just that the victim is heartbroken. You shouldn't take the opportunity to use their pain to achieve your own goals, even though you meant to do it for the good of everyone. Lin Mayo sighed. You are clever and witty, courageous and strategic. But the only thing is you are good at false sophistry, which makes people unhappy. You need to know that a gentleman stands tall in the world and he is upright. The gentleman should be generous and virtuous. Do not deceive the heavens. Do not deceive people. Do not deceive the heart. Do not deceive the world, and you become a true gentleman. That day, Brother Mo led you to this academy. He originally wanted me to accept you as a disciple, but I don't want to accept a disciple for the time being. But you need to keep in mind that a gentleman has to know what can be done and what cannot, not using his cleverness to take shortcuts. If you continue like this, I am afraid that you will miss your own opportunities in the future. Therefore, Lin Mai really doesn't know how to express himself. Others came up to help with enthusiasm, but when it fell into his mouth, it became cleverness and forcible sophistry. However, it can be seen that he was earnest and instructive, and Zooting Rang could not be disgusted. He also knew that the judgments made by the owner of him was probably derived from the matter of Mel Badu's collection of books that day. After Zooting Rang had the dream, his temperament and behavior have changed drastically, and two people have already said the same things with him. One is Jawa, and the other is Master Lin in front of him, in his heart. He didn't care about those things, and he was willing to be agreeable, because it was Jawa. At this time, this person said the same thing. Zooting Rang felt a need to rebut. I don't know what the owner means by a gentleman, he asked suddenly. Lin Mayo was taken aback, and replied, A gentleman should be cautious first. Do everything he can to reach the extremes. This quote comes from the university, and comes from two different sentences. A gentleman is first to be careful about his virtue means the first thing a gentleman should do is to cautiously improve his virtues. Doing everything to extremes means that a gentleman is pursuing the most perfect moral realm all the time. I know the teachings that a gentleman is magnanimous and a villain is small-minded, but reality is the complete opposite. In this world, it is usually the villain who is full of arrogance, and a gentleman who suffers persecution and humiliation. For example, what Lin Master and the tombs Ian Sheng have suffered today, Xing is clear, and Chu is distinct. Even if a gentleman will suffer for a while, the truth will come to light one day and become known to all. If the truth is exposed when one is already dead, what's the use of the truth? Lin Mayo took a deep look at Zooting Rang, and did not get annoyed by his impertinence. Instead, he said, a gentleman who has a big heart will follow the heavens, and when he is careful, he will be afraid of justice. Knowing is clear and classy, and stupidity is stubborn and without law. See the cause to stop respecting. See close to respect and align. Happiness is harmony and reason. Worry is quiet and violation. General is clear and poor, but covenant and detailed. The small person is not. The big heart is slow and violent. Be careful, you will be obscene and indulge. Knowing you will steal and gradually. Stupidity will be thief and chaos. See the cause, you will pay and be stubborn. See the closed. You will resent and risk. Happy will be light and frustrated. Worry will be frustrated and frightened. General will be arrogant and frightened. On the other hand, the poor will be frustrated. The legend says, the gentleman enters twice, and the villain loses both one. This is also what it means, too. This statement comes from Sunzi. There was originally a sentence at the beginning. The gentleman is the opposite of the villain, but it was omitted by Lin Mao. The main idea is to use both the gentleman and the villain to enumerate the pros and cons. A gentleman will follow the path of heaven when he is ambitious, and when he is careful, he will respect the best way of behavior and restrain himself. When he knows, he will understand things and understand the types of things. When he does not know, he will be correct and respectful and follow the laws. When he is put in importance, he will be respectful and restrained. When not not, he will be reverent and equal. When happy, they will be compliant and reasonable. When they are worried, they will come and leave. When they are wealthy, they will be elegant and bright. When they are poor, they will be thrifty. But the villain is the opposite. Lin Mao didn't mean to humiliate. In fact, he had the heart to teach. Zooting Rang smiled. It is the quality of the bow and arrow. The forest is luxuriant and the axe comes. Lin Mayo used the words of Zanzi to teach, and Zooting Rang also used the words of Zanzi to deal with it. But because he took the meaning out of context, this sentence completely lost its original meaning. It became, since the target has been set up, don't blame the arrow for shooting. The trees are luxuriant, so naturally the axe will come. What he meant was no matter how a gentleman cultivated his virtue, it was useless, because a villain would always come like a tarsal maggot, and it was always the gentleman who was hurt. Hearing this sophistry answer, Lin Mayo was dumbfounded, and couldn't return from his thoughts for a long while. After a long time, he sighed a little, you seem respectful, but in reality you are rebellious. Everyone knows that a gentleman has three fears fear of destiny, fear of adults, and fear of saints. The villain does not know this and so does not fear. Oh well, one day you will be burnt by your reckless actions. Well, now that you are still young, this old man will teach you well in the future, Zooting Rang said in his heart. So I am not a gentleman, but a villain. Before he finished this phrase, he realized the other sentence. Could it be said that his expression of his unbridled and evil deeds not only did not attract disgust, but made Lin Master feel admiration and wanted to accept him as a disciple? Now it was Zooting Rang's turn to be surprised, seeing this. Lin Mayo showed a smile. After this, the teacher will teach you well. This, this, can he say no? Even if it was wise and sophistry, Zooting Rang, he is a little dizzy now. He pursed his mouth and said, what the owner should care about at this time is how to protect himself. This time it was Lin Mayo's face that turned up. Zooting Rang didn't stay long and left soon. Separator, one. Basically means, the boundary between the two lies in the difference in personal qualities and the difference in the spiritual world. Two, this was hard to translate. I apologize if I didn't get it all right since even I don't know what they were saying sometimes. For me, this was like reading Shakespeare. Two, this was hard to translate. 